Hey, 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 guys. I am so excited to have so many of you already on here. This is fabulous. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Awesome. Spectacular. Okay, guys. Um, well, it is straight up 8 o'clock. I normally try to wait a few minutes and let other people jump on. But, guys, I have four pages of notes to go through. And Zoom only lets me have 40 minutes for free until they start charging me. So we're going to bust this out in 40 minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is recording. I will send it out via email. Um, probably not until Monday. I'll try to get it done tomorrow, but no promises. Um, a couple of you guys, looks like everyone's muted. Awesome possum. So we're going to get started. Okay, guys. So this training, this video is kind of like a recap from reunion, but even more than that, I'm just going to be going over a lot of different changes that are coming our way. Some of you guys that I see on here are brand new, so you don't even really realize these are changes, um, but just things that I want to make you guys aware of. The first thing that we are going to talk about is changes in shipping. So there is a new shipping model that is going to start September 1st, and I wanted to just throw it out there for you guys, talk about it a little bit, because um, there's been a lot of questions about it. So it starts September 1st. The difference is used to any party order that was 200 or more got free shipping. They're changing that and now party totals between 200 and $499.99 will be 5% shipping. Now parties of $500 or more will still be free shipping. One other thing that you need to be aware of is individual orders of 200 or more are gonna get free shipping. So if you have a customer that is ordering, like there's lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> so if you have a customer that is ordering $200 worth of product, there's a conversation that you need to have with your customer. So you can have this customer, this conversation with this customer and say, look, you've got some options here. I could put your order in as an individual order and you could get completely free shipping or um, we can put this in as a party order and you would get some freebies and some half price items, but you're going to have to pay shipping. So at that point, you would just um, leave it up to the customer to make that decision. Let's see. I'm hearing some background noise. I'm trying to figure out who it is. Can you guys hear that? I don't know who it is. I don't, I don't, I don't. We've got so many people on. This is awesome. Okay, so a lot of people were getting really upset about this when it was first announced, but let me just throw it out to you guys this way. Um, Heidi and Orville, who are the owners of our company, if you don't know them, you will hear their name often and you'll get to know who they are. But Heidi and Orville did a video for us. It can be found on the news tab of your workstation explaining why they decided to do this. And basically it comes down to there had to be a raise in cost somehow. Um, they have been offering free shipping on parties of 200 or more for 15 years now. Now when they started that program, when they started doing that, um, it was affordable to do it. But now shipping prices have gone up and obviously they're shipping way more than they used to 15 years ago. And it's just not cost effective anymore. So they had a couple options. They could raise the price of products, which they really didn't want to do, or they could change the model for shipping. And that's exactly what they decided to do was change the model for shipping. Um, I'm pleased with the choice that they made. I'm glad that they did not raise um, prices of products. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple different ideas of how to handle this with your customers. So again, these are just suggestions. You own your own business and you can do whatever you wanna do. A couple ideas though. When you're at a party, people are like, what am I supposed to do? 
how do I know what to charge in shipping? Because I don't know what the total of the party is going to be, especially with basket parties. You're not even there in person. You've got somebody dealing with the party for you. So what do you do? So you could just always charge 5% shipping to party guests. Then if the party hits that $500 mark and you get it for free, use that extra money to buy some extra product and just spoil your customers. Maybe everyone gets a free bar of the scent of the month, or maybe everyone gets a free scent circle or something like that. Um, another way to look at this is you could always charge a flat $5 shipping rate. And again, if there's an overage, you could spoil them with some freebies. So I figured out some numbers there. If I had um, a $300 party, and I had six different customers that were making up that $300 party. If I charged each of them $5 shipping, just a flat $5 shipping, no matter what they order from me, that would bring me $30. Yes, six, six customers. So that would bring me $30 to pay for shipping. Well, if it was a $300 party, the shipping would only cost $15. So that would give me an extra $15 I would get a six pack of scent circles, throw a free scent circle to each of those customers. So you can decide whatever you want to do. I always charge $5 shipping for direct shipped items. I have discovered that my customers don't raise any stink over $5 shipping. Now, when it gets to that $8 point, it's kind of like, mm, do I want to pay $8 shipping? But for like five is the magical number. People do not complain about $5 shipping. So every time that I direct ship to a customer, I charge $5. Now, I'm actually paying that $8 or more if it's more than an $80 order. So I'm paying out of pocket $3. But think of it this way. I'm paying out of pocket $3, but I don't have to buy a cute gift bag. I don't have to buy tissue paper. I don't have to take the time to package it all cutesy. And I don't have to deliver it to their house. So to me, not having to do those things is well worth $3 out of my pocket because I was probably spending way more than $3 on those things, the cute bag, the tissue paper, the gas to get over there, my time. So to me, it's worth the $3. And that extra $3 that I spent is a tax write-off as long as you're tracking it well. So just make sure that you have a receipt proof that you covered that extra amount in shipping, and that's a tax write-off. Um, another idea is don't charge shipping at all, ever. And if a party doesn't hit the $500 mark, you just pay the shipping costs. And again, it's a tax write-off. Um, but that just make it a big deal that you are always spoiling your customers with free shipping. You know, you can make it your deal that you never charge shipping. Um, now you can't blast that out on social media. Uh, but you can just handle that in one-on-one -on -one conversations with a hostess at a party, things like that. Um, another idea is just to maybe you personally offer free shipping on any order over $50. I have found that my most common order size is $35. If I take all the orders I've gotten over 11 years and average them out, it's around $35. So, they're by Cincy standards gonna have to pay $8 shipping. I always just charge $5 shipping, but they're gonna have to pay shipping on a $35 order. If I say to them, you know, shipping's $8, but I offer free shipping on every order of $50 or more, they're gonna be like, hmm, $8 or I buy $15 more in product and I get free shipping. It's just a chance for you to upsell. Breezy, Breezy likes that idea. So, um, just use this to your advantage. Don't look at this change in shipping as a negative for your business because I think it's gonna do nothing but um, boost my business. It just depends on how you're looking at it and how you're treating it towards your customers. Um, guys, I know you might have questions as we talk about these things, and I hope at the end we'll have a little time for questions. We might not, because like I said, I have tons and tons of stuff to cover, but if you do have questions, please don't hesitate to um, put them out on the team page. I'm happy to answer them. Message me privately, whatever you want to do, but just know that I'm happy to answer questions. I just might not have the time tonight on this video. Um, one other thing about the shipping to let you guys know, if you have old order forms, 
it's going to have the old shipping rates on those. So make sure if you have old order forms that you're either like grabbing a Sharpie and like marking it out or putting a sticker over it with the new, sh uh, new shipping or just toss them and order new order forms. That's totally up to you. Just make sure that you are aware that those order forms have the old shipping rates on them. Okay, guys, we have one super, super exciting announcement. Um, a lot of you might not feel like it's really going to affect you, but I really think it will in the long term. Used to, Cincy was, um, so Orville was our CEO and Heidi was our president. When they designed the business model of Cincy, they bought this business as a married couple, but when they designed the business model of the business, they had to have a CEO and a president. So um, the husband was the CEO, the wife was the president they have discovered that they're making all decisions together anyways, and they just wanted to have another voice in the mix. So it has been changed, and Orville and Heidi are now co-CEOs, and my super good friend, Dan Orchard, has been announced as president. I am so, so excited about this. Um, for those of you who don't know Dan, he is a fabulous mix into the leadership of this company because he is the one that helped start Cincy in Canada. He helped start Cincy in Europe. He has been working in Australia and New Zealand um, recently on Cincy. So he is bringing in a whole international aspect to um, the leadership of Cincy. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Um, so if you see his name on some stuff, you'll know um, what's going on there. Now, let's talk about what everyone wants to hear about, and that is a bunch of new products. And I have some of them here to show you guys that um, maybe you weren't at SFR. I do want to let you know, we have um, 14 new warmers. So this is our new catalog. In this new catalog, there are 14 new warmers. There are 10 new fragrances. So one thing I wanted to show you guys about the fragrances we started this last catalog, but I think a lot of people maybe didn't fully understand um, the benefit of how our fragrances are sorted now. So last catalog, we changed from um, categories to scent families. So like now this one's spice, this one's bakery, different things like that. They used to be um, sorted a little bit differently. Here's what I want to bring to your attention, and it's on page 26 in the new catalog. It is this wheel right here. It kind of looks like a color wheel, but it's actually a fragrance wheel. So why they are sorting fragrances into families now is because if you have a customer that you know they love all the woodsy fragrances, you are going to look to the categories on either side and suggest fragrances out of those partnering scent families. If you have a customer that loves them some cinnamon, you need to be looking not just at the spice category, but also at the bakery and at the woods category. So this new scent family um, segregation of scents, I guess you should say, is going to make it really easier for us as consultants to make recommendations. Now, I've been doing this almost 11 years. I feel like I know the fragrances like the back of my hand. I can easily say, well, if you like this, you're going to like this. But for newer consultants, this is going to be a game changer for you guys being able to suggest different fragrances for some of your customers to try. So that's super fun. We have four new fragrance oils. Now, one thing that's really cool that I just noticed the other day, I went on Scentsy Success. So for those of you who don't know what that is, that is um, on your order tab of your workstation and it's where we can order all of our marketing supplies. So we have had rub and sniff stickers for our wax fragrances for a long time. They just released four rub and sniff stickers for oils. So I'm really, really excited about this. So we can add those to catalogs, envelopes, whatever, so our customers can um, try out and enjoy some of the oil fragrances as well. Okay, now let's get into the real nitty gritty. I'm gonna flip through my catalog real quick because, oh, some of these aren't even in the catalog actually. Let's start by talking all things Disney. Um, I absolutely 
love our partnership with Disney. Now I will tell you, I'm really not a Disney freak, but I love our partnership with Disney because people that love Disney don't like just kind of like Disney, like they're Disney freaks and they will spend any amount of money on Disney stuff, especially those that have like their character. Now I say I'm not a Disney freak, but girl, if you put anything in front of me that is Ariel from the Little Mermaid, you better believe it. I'm probably going to buy it. Um, so I am an Ariel freak. And so I'm super sad that she is being discontinued, but we have some new upcoming Disney things um, Disney partnerships that are coming that are going to be monumental to our business, meaning that the diehards are going to spend any amount of money on them, which only means one thing for you. It means money, 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 because it's going to mean more commissions in your pocket. So let's talk about a couple of those things. The first is we have had buddy clips for a long time. So if you're not familiar with buddy clips, the little um, stuffed animals that smell oh so good, we have had buddy clips for a while, but we are releasing a mini and a Mickey buddy clip. You can actually get those starting on Monday. They are a limited time offering. So once they're gone, they're gone, but they're perfect time for back to school. These are great for backpacks um, or diaper bags for babies going to daycare, anything like that. So Mickey and Minnie starting on Monday. We found out that we got licensure with Marvel. Now, right now, we are just releasing a Spider-Man buddy and a scent, a set of scent circles in, um, how many was it? Four, four Avenger scent circles. Now, it's not that much right now, but I promise you we're just dipping our little toe into the Marvel pool because this is going to be amazing. So this new Spider-Man buddy, he comes with a scent pack and he's only $35. That's an amazing price point for a Marvel Marvel licensed item. He's available on Monday, guys. So start blasting it out on social media now. Find your Spidey fans and get to talking to them about this. He is released on Monday. So Spider-Man Buddy and his scent pack, $35. If they want to add a bar of the fragrance as well, um, that makes it $40. There is a scent description on the news tab of your workstation. Now, there is the pack of the four Avengers scent circles in the same fragrance, in the Marvel fragrance, for $12. So that is an amazing price point on a licensed item. Um, think about the Marvel fans in your life, and I promise you these are probably not gonna last. So you can snag up those sets of those scent circles and tuck them back for stocking stuffers for Christmas and encourage your customers to do the same thing. It is so hard to find good stocking stuffers for dudes. So if you have a superhero fan in your life or if your customers have a superhero fan in your life, this is the time to start that stocking stuffer shopping now. So grab those up. Um, continuing on with Disney, um, we have Pluto and Goofy. They made it into the catalog. This means they're not limited time. This means that they are active the entire catalog season. Um, <laughs> I have a customer that is a diehard Pluto fan and she gets so upset because Pluto's always left out. <laughs> well, I got to send her a text with a picture of this and say, hey, guess what? We didn't forget Pluto. Um, so I already sold one of these. So that's really exciting. They made it into the catalog, entire catalog season. They're good to go. Also, guys, this was a secret I had to keep. I have quite a few secrets that I've been keeping since like April. And it's really hard for me to keep secrets, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. This is one of the things I've known about for a while. Mickey and Minnie warmers. You guys have been asking for them for a really long time. And finally, they are released. So these, I mean, you can tell from the picture, they're almost like a clay design that's attached to the warmer. I figured that they would just come out with like a decaled warmer or something like that. Oh no, no, no. We like went above and beyond. These are super, super fun. Another thing I want to point out, you can see it there. So the light cutouts that are on our warmers, 
are shaped like the Mickey head. So do you know what that means? That means it's going to cast Mickey silhouettes on the wall. That is going to be a huge selling point. It's not just a cutesy cutesy Mickey warmer, but they're going to have Mickey heads like put all over the wall of their bedroom. I see some little ones are joining us. Are you so excited about Mickey and Minnie? I am really excited. Good, good, good. They're going to be super adorable. I got to see them in person in April and they do not disappoint. They are beautiful, beautiful warmers. Sad face. I already mentioned it once. The Disney princesses are being discontinued. So if you have a Disney princess fan, I know. But the thing is, we can still get them through the end of this month. And you can add them to your Cincy Club through the end of this month. Now, I keep saying you. I also mean your customers, too. If you're not familiar with Disney with Cincy Club, it is a subscription-based ordering that we have always get my bar. So if there is a fragrance that you love, as long as you add it to your Cincy Club while it's current, you can always get it. Like forever in a day, you can always get it. So Ariel is being added to my Cincy Club this month because I will not be without my Ariel. I mean, I'm a diehard Ariel fan, but I love the fragrance too. So Ariel is being added. We can still get the princess wax and scent circles through the end of this month. So if you have some princess fans, stock up on those, make sure that they know. Okay, how many Tinkerbell fans do we have out there? I think Tinkerbell is gonna have a huge following. And what I love about our new Tinkerbell warmer is the fact that it's actually our charitable cause warmer. I know, it's fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> I love, love, love the fact that we chose Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell for our charitable cause. So charitable cause this year is make a wish. If you don't know what make a wish is, you must be living under a rock <laughs> because make a wish is an amazing organization where children that have terminal diseases get to make a wish and do this one thing that's on their short little bucket list. And I forget the actual percentage. I think it was like 50% of all wishes are Disney related, whether it's to go to Disney World, Disneyland, to see an actual Disney character, um, but they're just Disney related. This warmer is spectacular. Again, notice the light holes, for lack of a better word, the light holes on the warmer. This is going to um, disperse light all over the room like starlight. How beautiful is that going to be in a room? Picture this in like a dark room with just starlight everywhere. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Another thing that they don't show here in the catalog is if you look down into the dish, Tinkerbell is in the dish. Like she's painted on the bottom of the dish. So definitely choose a light color fragrance to put in that warmer so you can still see Tinkerbell peeking out at you. So love, love, love all the new Disney stuff. Now let's talk some other brand new products. Guys, secrets. I've kept secrets. Okay. I have been begging for something like this for so, so long. I have a little like toilet room in my bathroom. I don't know what it's really called, but it's just like, you know, the little closet room with just the toilet in it. Obviously, there's no outlet in there. Nobody's going to be sitting on the pot curling their hair. So no outlet in that room. But that meant no chance for me to fragrance that room. I mean, I've been hanging a scent pack on the cabinet, but it just wasn't effective until this. So we have been begging for like a reed diffuser of some sort for quite some time. but. Since he is not going to do something like everybody else, they're going to take the idea that everyone else is using and they're going to make it beautiful. And that is exactly what they did right here. This is the fragrance flower. So it works very similar to a reed diffuser. It comes in four fragrances right now. Um, aloe water and cucumber, Amazon rain, Luna, sea salt and avocado. So it just comes with a little jar of oil. It's all capped up in the box and then the, the flowers in there. So 
I don't know if you can tell here, but this is just like a rope wick that you just put down in the oil. Disclaimer, I've known about this for a while, but I didn't get to see, touch, and feel it. I put mine together today. I do want to let you know, there's a huge um, spill possibility here, because can you see how big that hole is that this is just sitting on top of? So be aware of that. This is not the answer for kids' bedrooms. I know a lot of people don't want warmers in kids' bedrooms because of the wax and stuff. I, I have something coming up to, to handle that problem, but this is not the answer. This is going to be in adult areas, <laughs> okay? Huge spill factor possible here, but let me tell you, I put this together this afternoon, and it's been sitting on my kitchen cabinet, and I walked in earlier, and I was like, I have not changed my wax. Why does it smell so good in here? Guys, this is putting off enough fragrance that I can smell it in my whole kitchen. I absolutely love it. This is, let me try and describe it. It's, it's almost like a soft, thick paper, for lack of a better way to describe it. It's almost like a fabric, but it's not, I don't know, it's a little more crunchy than a fabric but it's softer than paper. I don't know if that makes any sense. Every single one of these are handcrafted. These are not machine produced. These are handcrafted flowers. They're made in India. Um, the flowers are, the oils are, I believe it's made in Boise, um, but the flowers are coming from India. So they're all gonna be completely different. I mean, they're gonna be kind of the same, but there's gonna be little differences from flower to flower. Just to let you know, um, $16, you're gonna toss those when the oil is gone. Um, there's no refilling, it just wouldn't be cost effective. So toss it, grab a brand new one. Um, I'm just gonna talk about this, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, we have a bunch of new unicorn things. There's a new blanket buddy, a new sidekick, and we already had a unicorn clip, those are on page 38. There's also a new Scentsy Friend with fun pink hair, so that's super fun. Two new buddy clips, a cat and a dog. I'm zipping through here because I see my time is gonna run out before I get through with all this. I wanna talk to you guys about this. This is probably the thing that made me most excited of all this year. This is a new wall fan. Now, if you don't know what this is, you're looking at it like, chickadee, we've had those for a while. That's a nightlight warmer. Oh, no, 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 no. It is not a nightlight warmer. This is the new Scentsy wall fan. So how many of you have had customers that have said, oh, I put one of those nightlight warmers in my hallway and it gets knocked over all the time and makes a mess? Heard it before. How many of you have people that say, oh, I would never put a warmer in my kid's room because they would play in the wax? Yep, heard that too. This is the answer to that problem. Number one, this is not gonna break, y'all. This is plastic. I mean, it probably could break, but no glass, no um, shattering when you drop it. Um, this is all plastic too. Now, it is gonna work like our Scentsy Go. You can see the fan in there. You're gonna plug it right in, put your pods in there so you can drop one or drop two. Put the pods right in there, plug it in. This just like pops right on top there and you turn it on. Now there is an indicator light to tell you if it's on or off, but this does not light up. Guys, I am stoked about this. I am so, so, so excited about this new product. I think it's gonna be a game changer for us. It's only $25, so it's an amazing price point. This is going to be huge for your business. Um, super quick, new body mist, only $9. It comes in three fragrances. Scentsy Pets, we have an entire brand new line of products. Look, Zoom's telling me, yo, you only have 10 minutes left. Okay, zip through this really quick. Pet Shampoo, this is $15. Um, it is sulfate free, it has aloe, sunflower oil, and colloidal oatmeal. We also have no Not Spot Detangling Spray for your furry friends. And guys, this is what I'm so ex excited about. Freshen Up Pup. I'm gonna describe this as Febreze for your pet. <laughs> I mean, I just have cats right now. Well, actually just one cat right now. Um, but he get a little stanky at times. And I'm afraid to like spray our Scentsy Fresh on him 
because I don't know what it's going to do to him. But I know I can spray this on here because it's been tested by all that animal stuff. And if you want all the official stuff, there's a frequently asked question on your workstation. There's like some organization that had to test it and make sure that it's safe and blah, blah, blah. Guys, we wouldn't sell it if it wasn't safe. Just know that. So $15, $10, and $10. And we have some awesome new marketing materials to talk about just these items new postcards, and these new fun little flyers. These can both be found in Sensi Success. Guys, think of the endless possibilities um, that you could have as far as events, like pet shows, dog shows, cat shows, um, breeder festivals. Like, I don't even know. I'm not really a pet person. And that's, just like I said with Disney, I'm not a huge Disney fan, but when people are Disney fans, they're like diehard Disney fans and they'll pay anything. Exact same thing with animals. Like I love my animals, but I'm not like a diehard like animal person. Um, but dog lovers are like dog lovers and they will spend anything on their pets. So get into that market because it is going to be fabulous. How about this? If you find a group of people that are like those diehard pet people, why don't you have a pet potty? <laughs> P-A-W-R-T-Y, party, get it? <laughs> uh, Sabrina's laughing at my jokes. Thanks, Sabrina. <laughs> it's really hard to have my weird sense of humor and not have people to laugh at my jokes because it just means I'm gonna laugh even more. <laughs> But think of those people. You could have everyone bring their puppy dog to the party and actually like, I don't know, why not just have like a dog washing fest? I don't know. I would not do that because I'm not that big of a dog fan, but some people would, okay? So use these pet products to your advantage. If you have a dog, why don't you go live while bathing your dog? I mean, I could probably have a pretty humorous video if I would go live bathing my cat. I, I don't think I'm gonna try it. I don't think I will, but maybe you will. Um, do some Facebook posts with pet pictures. How about that? Like everyone loves to share pictures of their kids and their pets. So use it to your advantage. We also have one other new product and that is a car bar clip. So if you're familiar, look, Look, I knew we'd get some pet pictures. Um, if you have seen the car bars, so a car bar clip is kind of the same thing, only instead of the rope to hang freely, it has this clip that almost like screws into the back of it and then it goes in the vent of your car. And so the air is gonna blow around it and make your car smell super yummy. What I love about them is the price point, $9 for a pack of two. So divide that out. 450 each. What a great upsell from a scent circle. If someone's buying a scent circle, that's a $3 item. You could say, Hey, this product is way better and you're going to get two for $9. That's not that much more. So why don't you give this a try? Just another chance for an upsell. Um, we have about five minutes left. Super, super quick harvest brochures. You can order them on August 15th. The sales start on September 1st. I have two words for you, Jack Skellington. It's gonna be huge, guys. If you don't know who that is, you need to look it up because Nightmare Before Christmas fans are like die hard. Um, the warmer is $65. It's one of our highest price point warmers, but I've got people paying it. I've already started showing it and I've got people willing to pay it. They are diehards. Holiday brochures are available for us to order September 15th. Sales on those items starts on October 1st. Now, any of those items, the harvest and the holiday, they are limited time offer. It has happened that some things have sold out in two days before in the past. So just know if you have someone that wants one of those items, make sure they know it's a limited time offer. We do not promise to have those. Super quick, how do you prepare for this new catalog season? You need to buy some things if you don't have them. You need to buy some catalogs, some showcase brochures, or some product lists. 
Showcase brochures are my favorite. Obviously, these are the old ones. I don't have my new ones in yet. Um, showcase brochures are my favorite because they're the most affordable and they give you a good offering of products. Um, but catalogs are a must have as well. These bad boys, product lists, just a piece of paper. I pass these out like candy. I'm a little more hesitant to pass these out because they're costing me a little bit more, but you need those. Um, you also need testers. So you can order just a transition set of testers. It's just going to be all the new fragrances. Guys, I'm going to go live next week and tell you guys how to specifically prepare for the new season. Host an open house party. You could have a last chance first glance in August. Last chance to get the spring and summer, first chance to get the fall and winter. Last chance, first chance, open house are amazing. Start booking parties now. Get your calendar full for this fall season. Show photos of you or videos of you using these products in real life. Since he has some gorgeous pictures of this out, but it's gonna be so much more effective if I'm showing my customers where I have this in my house and how I'm using it. Now, if you went to SFR, you have these items. If you didn't, you can get them on September 1st. Our new products are so affordable this year, guys. $16 for this, $25 for the fan. I think it was nine for this, nine for the car clips. I mean, that's what, probably right at $50. I can't do the math that fast. $50 and you would have one of all the new products. You need to invest that in your business. It is a tax write-off. Also, you need to understand about how discontinued items and fragrances are working. Again, I'm gonna do a video next week because we have so many new people. I'm gonna do a whole video on that next week. Um, super quick, we have two minutes left. Upcoming trips and incentives that you need to know. Leadership in Hawaii in January. You have to be a director or above to attend this. That might be a goal you want to set because you're a diehard Hawaii is on my bucket list kind of person. So make it your goal. <laughs> Breezy says, yes, ma'am. Uh, make it your goal to get to Hawaii. A world tour will happen January through March all over the U.S. There's an incentive to Bermuda. There's an incentive to the Netherlands and Belgium. There's going to be a whole video on that Saturday. And then SFR 2020 is in Salt Lake City. July 20th through 25th next year. I have less than a minute. Guys, I love you. Thanks so much for joining. I will upload this and email it out. Shoot the questions out on the team page. Hope you guys have a great night.